King Zenith died and he chose one of his sons to succeed him. And I want you to imagine just for a moment that we didn't have the scriptures. Okay. That we knew about King Noah from some kind of royal record or from archaeology and looking at old buildings. And if you sort of scan through chapter 11 of Mosiah from about verse 9, the next 10 verses or so, you'll see tons of buildings huge palaces, these grand towers. He expanded out vineyards all Mm -hmm. over the mountains. And if if we were reading his books, we would say this was a golden age. (laughs) Okay. But we have the scriptures. Mm -hmm. And so we know that it it wasn't a golden age, it was a gilded one. That means gold colored on the outside and sort of rotten beneath. Okay. We follow the story of a prophet named Abinadi who had to be the one to stand up and tell people the truth about what their society was like. And we do learn in these scriptures that King Noah, even though he was very wicked, the people saw all this big flashy stuff and they kind of went along with it. It tells us in Mosiah 11, 29, now the eyes of the people were blinded. Uh, And then because their eyes were blind, therefore they hardened their hearts against the words of Abinadi. And so that's the situation we're in of this, this great builder of a king who's also deeply corrupt and the sort of one man who's trying to help people see the truth when when they just can't. 